Welcome back to Vigor. It's your boy, Stealth Jet, leader of the JSS. Folks, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was tired playing this session. I was. It was easily like 11 o'clock at night playing this game. And after this encounter, I just, I just decided to go to bed. After this encounter, I decided to go to bed because it wasn't my night. It wasn't. So, with that in mind, watch the tone of my objectives because literally, that is what was going through my head. Literally. And I'm saying this because I don't want your expectations to be set so high for me. I mean, I don't know y'all come to my videos for like quote-unquote high quality gameplay I get that but sometimes I suck you know and if you want some evidence of the evidence of that check out my second channel on some of my streams but hey nobody's perfect we're all human here even though I identify as the f-22 uh, Raptor anyways okay my first objective secure the container I feel pretty damn combat worthy right now even though I am tired while playing the game so I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna see if I can earn me a maybe an SVU maybe an MP5 whatever the hell is in, the, is in that container I want it and so I'm gonna approach it with extreme caution you see that took me three shots to hit somebody who was stationary on top of a container see that and in my in my opinion that was more due to the animation of the body while doing the unlock thingy and not down to my shooting but here comes somebody else and right here they seen me right because I went up in the air for a little bit and then came back down they saw me and so I'm already ready for a fight right and you see he's right there and I try to hit his back. It doesn't work out. He returns fire. Okay. Okay. So now I'm trying to think. What can I do? Relocate. Try to get a better angle. But I don't want to get randomly headshotted in the prog in the process, as I have been for like the past like four games. Okay. Nothing happens. I'm trying to think. How should I do this? But then he gets headshot of himself by a random player who appears in the back. Gunshots attract players. And we are fighting near the container. Makes sense, right? Cool. So now we have a bit of a dilemma on our hands. My objective remains the same. I still got to fight with the container. I still do. And now it's spooky because, like, we don't know where that guy's at. We don't. We just seen that he shot somebody in the corner of the map. And we hear him, but we don't see him. And my mind is flashing back to a, a to an encounter I had way back in the day. I didn't I didn't even stream it, but way back in the day. This is how far back in far back in the day I'm talking about. That sniper rifle that ends in a number eighty two. It just came out. That's how far back I'm thinking. And I remember I was in the ex exact same situation. I was crawling probably to this bunker because I think I heard somebody. And the guy was laying prone right beside me as I was walking up to the bunker. Shot me. So I'm not too fond of the idea of going up to find him. But it turns out. My patience is rewarded because he's behind that house. That's why I back off. I hear him. But why would he let off that many rounds? And you see, even my logic is kind of not processing at optimal efficiency. Because I'm thinking, did he just kill someone? Or did he just miss that many shots on the lock? 
I'm thinking that he missed that many shots on a lock. And this guy may be a, a, a cut above the average player because even he knows if I fire, that guy knows where I'm at. He's probably assuming I'm still nearby. Good assumption by him. And so I'm going to move somewhat closer. I mean, it's kind of hard to move while you're prone, but I'm going to relocate somewhere closer to where the shots came from. And I'm really hesitant to cross that road. But then a thought hits me. You got an entire map to play with. Get your butt away from this container and, and loot. That's the reason why you play the damn game. Loot. Get XP and leave. If, if that is one container, there are plenty of other encounters that you can play and you can get yourself another container. Don't even worry about it. And so, I listened to that voice of reason. I could have sat there for the entire encounter and fought over one damn container. Knowing that all the ex exits on this map are locked. So what's the point? What's the point? And, you know, since that guy killed like two people, assuming two people, and I killed one, the numbers should be kind of thin. And so I'm going to hit the comm station first, do a bit of a dancey dance around the comm station, give it a bit of time, whoever's watching the map will think, which comm station are they at? Wait for a bit, then use a detector, because then they'll throw them off. Because if I use them both back to back in the same like span of 10 seconds, then they will know where I'm at. But look at this. We got one person camping the entrance of the Bard house. And so move a bit closer, pull off a ghosties number one, mark where they're at mentally, but then as an, as an image of a revolver pops up in the back of my head, I can just mark where the guy's at. So this hits me, not, not immediately, like I said, I was tired. This hits me not immediately. And so I'm gonna crawl a bit, now mark where the guy's at, and then continue to push forward. And I get another flashback. You'll see this in a few, actually no, I can't even tell you that. Just know I killed somebody right about here because I seen them going prone across the mud. Yeah, my eyes are that good when I'm playing fresh out the box or out the bed, really. And so, I still do get distracted because I mean, hey, it is a looter survival game, looter shooter. So I'm a loot, right? I'm a loot. And yeah, this gives the guy time to, you know, move about and whatnot. But I wasn't really thinking about that. What I was thinking about at this point in the game, as I consider it to be the halfway point between the airdrop falling and the beginning portion of the game, is securing loot enough to where I can leave without taking the cursed exit on this map. But Jet, what's the cursed exit? Oh, don't worry. You, you're going to see. You're going to see. And so, walk up to the truck, not the god truck, but a different truck, and get some wire. Nice. So this means I'm guaranteed to have enough resources to take the exit all the way, what, northeast, I believe, the one on the top of the map where there's a boat. You know, the boat. Alright. So now that I've secured some XP, and I can even if I do die, I come back with at least something, right? I'm gonna crawl up or crouch up to where I think this guy is at. Or at least what the detector said. Because hey, right? It is cloudy, it is raining, people don't see you, even if you're on the ground ten feet in front of them. So this guy just might still just might still be up here. And so you know I'm gonna crouch up here, engage stealth mode, use the camera to my advantage, and I'm gonna make sure the guy doesn't see me by crawling behind the line of sight that is just over this concrete like outline thing. And so I'm crawling, right? Assuming nobody's up here with me, like on this level, on this height. 
and I don't find dude. Instead, that a tether gets used. So either that's somebody else coming up to visit, or the guy moved to use a tether. And you see right here, I'm thinking, the guy moved, so now he's down here fighting for the airdrop that just landed. Okay. Fine by me. I can go down here, and I can have a bit of a fight. Right? So, here's the thing, right? Visibility's poor. I should have gotten closer. I should have. But as I'm moving down this rock face, something says, stay up here for a little while. Stay up here. Check the map. Realize that I still can go for the Bard house. And yeah, now my objective changed. Because there's a guy up there. Is that the same guy from the detector? Or the same guy that was um, camping the, bar, the Bard House exit? Entrance. See, I'm still tired. I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is, if I play my cards right, I can headshot this man... Go for the airdrop, use the PSD, just to ensure that, you know, I'm safe before getting it, and then leave. Also, I did stealth the airdrop as well. So, we're going to see how all this plays out. And now I'm just watching the sky. I know, crazy. But I'm watching the sky to see if there's anything that shouldn't be in the sky there. There's a fancy way of saying I'm watching for his silhouette, his outline. And there it is. I see him. You see him. Watch this. At this point, I about threw my controller against the wall because how the hell did I miss those shots? The sights were literally on the man, but somehow, some way, my bullets went above where I aimed? What? But I had to control the, the building up rage that was inside of me just then. And I said, you know what? You know what? You know what? Let me just, let me just leave. Let me, let me just leave. But first, I probably can't leave immediately. Because a guy just might be chasing me. Just might. So I guess I should ensure my safety by eliminating him. That's what I should try to do. And hopefully, hopefully, the game will actually let me take out the guy. Still can't believe I missed that crap. But anyways, it's a combination of the game's unique shooting mechanics. And me being a little bit tired. But either way, Jet is still Jet. And so, I am going to run, well, crouch my way to the sound of gunshots. Recently, I've been finding myself having the right situation, but the wrong weapon. This is going to be one of those moments. See this? See that? If I had anything else, H bar T definitely VSS maybe 82 rifle probably uh, M82 rifle yes if I, had, if I had anything else he'll be dead right now he'll be dead and to make matters worse here comes radiation here comes radiation indeed but check this out somebody reinforced the airdrop he has the airdrop on him now and crows go off at the cursed exit he has the airdrop on him right but the airdrop drop if that makes any sense has more than just the airdrop in it so since he didn't take more than just the airdrop the airdrop icon is still on the compass but I know for a fact this man has an airdrop and so I'm going to chase him and y'all know me, I wait for the perfect opportunity before I take a shot.
And you see, right there, I got frustrated. I knew I could not headshot this man for some reason. He has a combination of me being tired plus the divine protection from somebody who overwatches this game. And, and yeah. So at this point, I was just exasperated. I'm just like, bro, I can't kill this man. Why not? So I decided to hang up the towel and just leave. Just leave. Just just go. Just hang it up for the night. Call it a night. And I check my inventory to find I don't have enough of fuel. I usually want to keep like maybe five to seven units of fuel on me on this map. And so I pop an iodine pill, pop, pop a PSD, and just to check. Crows. Yep, still there. And I guarantee you that the, the, the airdrop carrier guy, guarantee you he died. He wasn't mine to kill. But peep how I just picked up the fuel jerry can just now. I need that. And so, I'm out of here. You see, they're, they're, don't get me wrong, right? The game is fun. The game is fun. But sometimes there are just moments when I just want to like... If this game was a cat, I would just want to take that cat and throw it as far as possible. And this is one of those moments. Like, I was robbed. I was halfway robbed once. And then I got robbed twice. And the third time, what the hell? No, no, no. The second time is what the hell. The third time, I got robbed twice. If I had a VSS, this probably would have been a two-kill game. Probably. But... That was down to mostly me being tired. I admit that. I've, I, am, I have no problems admitting that I did play kind of bad in this game. And I did think not with the best and brightest and freshest mindset. So I wanted to bring all this video because I want y'all to see. I have my moments too. Like how I always stay on stream. I have my moments whenever I pull off something quote unquote spectacular. I do have my moments and this is one of those negative moments now granted I came out of there alive and that's all I really care about but so much more could have been done so much more and so I guess this is the reality of jet if that makes any sense and you see I make me another PSD before I head to bed and so there you go. By the way, this encounter was not played around this time of night. It was played like two days ago. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.